Hello and welcome to the Genghis Khan campaign for the Age of Empires 2. And let's quickly read the introduction and then carry on with the first mission. The nomadic tribes of the Asian steppes spent centuries entangled in their own petty feuds until united under Genghis Khan. Within years, a highly disciplined army pours out of Mongolia to embark on a campaign of world conquest. But how can a tribe of horse archers possibly overcome the military might of Persia and Eastern Europe, let alone the technologically advanced empires in China? Okay, that's a good question. How did the uh, Horse archers just beat everybody who were better than them. And the first mission is Crucible. So let's start. And it seems to be in Mongolia, so I guess it's some sort of an introduction campaign, uh, mission I mean. And then I guess China, India, Persia, Russia and Europe probably. I think it how it will go, but let's see then. A blue wolf took as his spouse a fallow doe. They settled at the head of the Onan River to raise their offspring, and there were born the Mongols. So begins my life's work, the secret history of the Mongols. I have been selected to compose this epic because great events are about to take place. We are going to leave Mongolia. I have lived always on this frigid, dry, and endless steppe. The tribes here squabble like vultures fighting over the desiccated corpse of a marmot. We fight over limited resources, scarce water, few trees, sparse grass for our herds to graze on. A wise and dangerous man named Temuchin means to change all this. He says that if the tribal conflict is to end, the Mongols require but two things. First, we need green pastures for our herds. With more to go around, there will be less competition among the tribes. Second, we are a nation of warriors. We need a common enemy with which to do battle. To meet both these needs, Temuchin has come up with the most modest of schemes. To unite the tribes and go to war with anyone who stands in our path. How, we ask him, how can nomadic horsemen in felt tents embark on a campaign of world conquest? Temuchun replies that we will fight not as warriors, but as a unified army. We fight not for our glory, but for the glory of Mongolia. And with those words, the name of Temuchin has passed almost into obscurity. His name is replaced with a title, Great Khan. Genghis Khan. Okay, so that was the introduction for the first mission. Uh, wait for instructions from Genghis Khan. So I guess we're not playing as Genghis Khan himself. You can change diplomacy settings whenever you want, but don't be surprised if other tribes respond to your. Don't be surprised if all tribes have actions. Uh, monks take raids. Okay, so I think we need to collect relics in this one. Seem like it. Behold, the horde of Genghis Khan approaches. You will visit each of the outlying tribes. You must convince as many as you can to join our glorious army. But beware the Karakitai, they are without honor. Okay, we got some units. Uh, let's see. We need to. We need to. unwind the tribes. And Karakitai, the red player, is supposed to be evil. Mm. 
So I guess uh, when we visit them, uh, they give us a quest and then we have to fulfill the quest, I think. I will follow you if you can prove to us that you are favored by the gods. Bring to us a holy relic. So, the on Girats, or the Grey player wants a relic, then they will join. So we need a monk even first. Let me get the monk from somewhere else. Let's quickly change the game pace. Player. Then I'm an our enemy. If you drive them from the steps, then and only then will we join you. So we need to kill player six for them. That's not a good idea, I think. Not just yet. Hopefully we'll get an easier quest. We need to get a monk from somewhere. Winter has been hard and our warriors are hungry. Bring us 20 sheep and we will join you. If you are injured, our monks can heal you. Okay, 20 sheep. That's interesting. Okay, let's switch purple. Uh, this quest could be done first, I guess, because I just would have to find sheep. And that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Okay, let's avoid the red unit. I assume they are going to ask uh, to be that we kill uh, green. We are at war with the Taichus. Destroy their camp and we will join. Taichus. Well, I'm not gonna do that for now. Because. I don't have enough units to kill anyone yet. But it seems like green has less uh, score than purple. So I guess it will be easier to do it down green. You must prove that our people will benefit from this alliance. There is a great wolf, Ornlu, whose pack has been attacking our flocks. Slay him! And we will join your horde. Born in the wall. Uh, 400 HP wall. I guess I could hit and run him down. But I would have to first find him. I assume he's going to be around here because this quest is about their village. Easier, maybe. Could be there. Let's see, because there are, are dead bodies there. That can be an indication to the wall. Yeah, this seems to be the way. Uh, 
Join you, Genghis Khan. And to seal the agreement, we will give you the gift of flaming arrows. Flaming arrows? So I guess I got chemistry. And he can heal us too. Maybe the relic will be around here. Oh, and there's more sheep. Let's get the sheep. So that's eight and nine actually. That's nine sheep. Search for the relic around gray space. Maybe we'll, we'll find something. Space has defensive towers. Okay, let's set him as an enemy. Okay, 
The quest got cancelled. Okay then, so we can claim a reward at Fair 6 now. Let's get some cavalry archers. Let's heal a bit at player 1. That's 12 sheep, I think. Oh, that's 11. That's 11 sheep. Maybe I did come from, let's see if they will give me troops. No. So I need one more. I can check here and split up there too. Okay, that's the red base. And some sheep. I still need to find the relic though. Let's scout quickly around here. Oh, maybe the relic is in player 2 base. That could be a possibility. So let's visit purple. And turn one. Actually, let's visit him first. Thank you, Great Khan. We will honor our okay. word by providing you with these soldiers. We got the monks now, and we can pick up relics now. I'm gonna leave those here so for now. I don't want them to die. Get more units at player 6 base now. <laughs> I guess we get the units from player 6 and then check out the uh, player 2 base to see if the relic is there. 
it would make sense that the relic is there because because you have vanquished our enemy, we will gladly join the horde. Okay. I think it said to that. Uh, what did it say? Make an example of any tribes that open the war against you. Yeah, it said that. Though. It suggested that we should kill Red. The monks, but that might be too dangerous. And not a good idea. Free one of you for now. That mangle real quick. Yeah, and there's a relic here. Maybe I can convert the building. No. Nope. Let's sign him as enemy. Wait the moment for the monster right to be destroyed. And then we can take the relic to grey space and then all quests will be done. I guess we will join the army of things gone after that. Okay we got the relic. Let's make it like that. Box formation. I don't think box formation is ever used in actually random maps or custom scenarios. I think they just added it for the campaign. It seems like it because doesn't seem to be that useful. It's good for escorting units. I guess custom scenarios that are roleplay game type or similar to that could use box formation as well. Got the monk Apparently we have 300 gold for some reason. And there is a random cactus here for some reason. Seems like they forgot to delete it when making the terrain. You have done well in bringing to us this artifact. We will ride with the great Khan! Okay, what now? Four Mongol tribes now follow the banner of Genghis Khan. The rest of the world will soon know true fear. Okay, and we're victorious. Well, that was easy. Oh, no! Quickly go back and enter the cheat code because I forgot. Ah, uh, what's the cheat code? I are winner. Um, why did I click that? Nearly what? all of the Mongol tribes have united under the great Khan. The chieftains of those tribes reluctant to join were boiled alive. Each day, new faces have taken up the bow. Unfamiliar hands hold the nine bands of yak hair that has become Genghis's standard. 
There are more men and horses gathered in the camp than I ever knew existed. Horse archers and lancers, men in leather cuirass and silk armor, all lift their heads upward to the platform from where Genghis speaks. The great Khan calls himself the punishment of God. Men smile like hungry wolves. It is dawn of the first day of the Mongolian Empire. That was the first mission, the Crucible. A life of re revenge. I think that's. Well, we're not at China right now, so. It's the third mission, maybe in China. But that's about it for the first mission. Thank you guys for watching, and if you want to see more, then come back in like less than a week and the second video about the Genghis Khan campaign will be uploaded but yeah that's a bit about for now and see you